What's up, motherfuckers? What the fuck is going on? What's really going on, motherfuckers? What's really going on? So I'm here with my daughter, Mandy. Today, we're gonna make a special ass motherfucking video. Um, possible bitches that are gonna play Selena. No, possible actresses that will possibly play Selena on the what? Netflix series. On the Netflix series. We have been waiting for this motherfucker for a long time. If you don't know, now you know we are big as um, Selena fans. I've been a Selena fan since I was little, but not that big fan. But then when I found out about her story and shit, we like, we love you, Selena. My daughter likes the movie. And we went to go to Corpus Christi to visit her tomb. And we went to visit her museum. She met her sister. I met her. We even saw her bitch ass dad. Her Corpus outfits. We saw all her outfits. Her little ass waist was little as fuck. And we're like, damn, that burrito, that burrito. But remember when we saw the dad, he was all grumpy and shit. But anyways, um, let's go back to the the movie. When the movie came out, the Selena movie, a lot of Mexican American people were mad because they're like, J Lo, she's not even Mexican, she's Puerto Rican, and I think a lot of people didn't like her. Until this day, my mother is mad. She's like, you know what? You know what? The only reason that Selena, no, that J Lo is famous is because Selena. Selena made J Lo, but at the end of the day, if if J Lo wouldn't have acted, played that um role as badass as she did, she wouldn't have Selena wouldn't have all these new fans, you know. So I think Selena, um J Lo rocked that shit, even though she had to stub her butt and you know overline her lips, overline her lips and shit. I love J Lo. I love Selena. They're both beautiful, badass bitches. Okay, so the first one that came up that may play selena is naya rivera why do i the only reason i know her naya is because she's the ex of what's his name Rob kardashian no no i said we got the wrong one <laughs> big sean remember he she made the song i don't fuck with you for her for her because i love that way and she's from like where we live she's like from the city that we live and she was pretty, like a skinny little pretty girl, but then she got all this surgery. And I don't think she could play a good Selena role because to me, if you're gonna play Selena, you have to be all natural, you know? You gotta be like- Innocent. Innocent. This bitch is kind of cray cray, you know? If, if you were engaged to somebody and then that motherfucker left you and then he made a song about you, I don't fuck with you. Um, I don't know, but I don't fuck with you either. And plus, uh, she looks nothing like Selena. Her nose is too. Yeah, I feel like nobody's ever gonna look like Selena, but you kind of have to give me like a big lips, big lips, big oh, booty, you know, you know. And Selena was very proud of being brown, and this bitch looked like she got a little bleach or something. Second one, we have Selena Gomez, the one, the only Selena. I don't know, she got that puta face, you know, she got like that face. I want to put my dick in her face, you know, <laughs> but like. Mm, She's too small. No. You know she got named after Selena? Yeah. Her mom named her Selena because she was a fan of Selena. But I feel like, no, my miss. Like, she's over here with fucking Justin, what's his name? Justin Bieber. And then she's like, she hasn't been the same after him. I feel she's too fragile. You know, to be Selena, to play Selena, you gotta be like, uh, like confident and, you strong. know, strong. And you're representing a whole lot of women. And she's just not. I know none of these bitches are gonna be enough for me. Trust me. I'm like, ooh, Victoria Justice. I like her, but um, I watch the show. Yeah, and you know, uh, sure. when I watched the show, she's. I looked at her like, damn, she's fucking tall and skinny, but she's curvy. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe. She she could sing. Yeah, she could. She could sing. The only thing I don't know. I don't know her background. Is she white? I don't know. I don't know. She's a maybe. Because I feel like she's she's confident. And she's, you know, she's like her body is popping. Let's go to the next. Oh, no. hell to the no, no, no. Not at all. Fuck no. No mummies. I love Demi because she could sing. Pero, you know, she's always talking about 
how you know she wants to inspire everybody you know love your body she gets fat she gets skinny she gets fit she gets turns into a puta she's you know she had that fucking overdose and it's like i'm not perfect you know that i yeah. told her all my shit but no mom is like if you're gonna represent selena you can't be having no motherfucking um heroin none of that shit because selena was so anti it has to be someone like innocent because girls look up to her. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't feel like... I don't think Selena was that innocent. I mean, she was with Chris. She married Chris behind her daddy's back. You know, she had a little freaking dick on, in her, you know. I don't think innocent is a word. I think somebody with principles... Decent. Decent. Somebody, you know, that has principles. Morals. Morals and shit, you know. Someone who's Hispanic. Somebody who's at least Hispanic, if not Mexican-American. Who at least is Latina, you know. I don't mind a lot. Anyways, a lot in a lot of movies, Mexicans are played by Puerto Ricans. It's like there's all these motherfucking Mexicans, and all the Mexicans in the movies are Puerto Ricans. And I, I have nothing against it. It's just that when they're you know talking and shit, that you could hear the Puerto Rican accent. And you know, because a Mexican, as a Mexican, I could I understand accents in a lot of movies. I'm like, they're like, okay, wait. And I'm like, no mames, it's all the way, you know? Arre. Arre. <laughs> you know, we watch his novelas, and you, you, we know what we sound like, you know? Demi Lovato, I'm sorry. You know, you have a good voice. She's mm. pretty, but... You're pretty, but... It is medio, medio, you know? No, I don't like... Ooh. Emeroa de Tobia. Tobia. Oh, mm -mm, I see you. She's broken, uh, I guess she's like a, was raised in Brownsville, Shadow Hunters. She came out, I don't know, she looks like fucking Kim Kardashian's little sister to me. She's pretty. She's pretty, she has the hair, she has the titties, you know. I don't know her, so I can't say nothing about her, she's cute. Amanda Solis, ooh, Amanda Solis is from Houston. She is a Tejano legend like Selena, she played... I guess she already played I think we saw that part We saw it with the Mexican one, remember? And we didn't really like her Oh yeah, I remember No, I don't know See, nobody's gonna be good enough I'm sorry, I'm sorry guys Nobody's gonna be good enough But we love you Ooh She's pretty Becky G Becky G is popping You know, she's a reggaeton star She has an amazing voice But I don't know She's kind of like cute like too small i feel like selena i want this new i want a new type of person like someone sexy someone i want new. somebody new somebody fresh i mean i love becky g she's been around for a while but to for me when i want to see selena i want to see some a new you know whoever whoever portrays selena is gonna make is gonna get famous so if she's already famous she'll get more famous but i, don't, I want a fresh face i want to see somebody with good acting skills and it's like you know, como la <laughs> I can't say for shit. But Becky G, she's cute, but you know say. And this one, I don't know her. Ooh, Jackie Cruz from Orange is a New Black. That's my bitch. No. no. <laughs> I'm sorry. She is gorgeous. And I am so happy that she made it. Because, you know, she came out the Orange is a New Black. I don't know mommy is you know it looks she looks like selena's prima or something i don't know to be honest like i said nobody's gonna be good enough for us until we see the actual series and then we're gonna be like oh she proved us <laughs> wrong oh we love selena even more you know it's complicated for the selena fans we are so like picky we just want selena back but we're never gonna her back mm -hmm. but seriously selena stood um for you know youthfulness i feel like the the one of the reasons that she left so young was because forever in her mind she's gonna be looked at this beautiful thing this beautiful flower that you know left too soon but anyways these are motherfucking two cents hi mandy bye mandy <laughs> to all my bird gang 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 motherfuckers i love you don't forget to subscribe to my cooking channel cooking with bird martinez